and now come here all right so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create this button that has it has no text as you can see the only thing it has is the icon and when you hover on it you do see that the right the red that is behind it blurs out and it gives you this um shadow effect so that is what we're going to try and create using breakdance with probably one line of code okay so let's um there's our development i am going to remove the button so the button is gone and then we are going to try and recreate it so go back into add and over here we are going to look for button all right so we do have our button there as you can see we are going to leave the button empty and at the end of the day we are going to give it probably remove the text but let's say let's call this more blocks for um for beginning right small blocks and you can see that our button was circular when i go back over here you can see that we have a circular button so to create a circular button when you are using breakdance as you want to go into uh, the advanced settings and in the advanced settings go into advanced and in the wrapper what we want to do is we want to change the size so let's say we want to make this um a width of 100 and we want to also make it a height of 100 probably 100 is not the best let's do 120 and also let's do another 120 okay so you can see that we do have a button like that i'm going to go back into our design into the styling panel and over here i'm going to choose custom and in custom i'm going to go into the custom settings and in here what i want to do is go into size and make sure that this is full width on desktop all right so that is good so that it is always full width and that being that i'm also going to change the background to a black like that and that is good and the next thing that i'm going to do is make sure that the corner is a circle so we can have something more like this so this is um probably the beginning of it let's go back into this cog icon and then in the wrapper under the advanced section clicking back on it we have our size already done i am going to go into layout and in layout i'm going to make this one flex so as soon as you do flex you're going to get something like this which is what we are looking for so we've created a circular um button in breakdown so if you're looking to create a circular button in breakdown this is how you can do it all right so that being said what we need now is to add our icon so going back into the styling panel in the custom we're going to go into icons and then we are going to look for an arrow type an arrow and this arrow we want something that is pointing up so i'm going to choose this one all right so you can um you can see it because of the text and because of what we've done over there so what i'm going to do is just save this and then when i go into the front i am going to refresh so we do have this button over here now let's get into um the advanced uh let's inspect our element so inspect this right and when you get into it we want to remove the text over here completely so it is a span that has this class on it button dash atom and then two underscore and then text so we're going to copy that and then go into breakdance make sure our button is selected get into the advanced setting and then over here because we want to only affect this particular button and not every other button we are going to go in here and then i'm just going to put a period sign and do that all right so when that is done when i come here and then i type in display and i'm going to type in none. so now you can see that our icon has now appeared and we are still in a circular then all right going back into our design our styling panel in the custom section i am going to go into let's say we have a button right we can make this like 26 so we have something like that if you want to add a hover on it like when you hover you want to move it to the left or to the right we can also do that by giving it probably five pixels so when i hover on it because they moves a little which is good all right and when you do a negative what happens it moves to the left so you can do whatever um that works for you so that is done let's go into effect that is what we are going to add our effects and other sh um other stuff like that so in the shadow we're going to make sure that our shadow is a red i'm just going to copy this red all right so our shadow is a red and i'm going to make sure that it is like a real bold red and yeah make sure that this is a zero 
and five and then we can also give this one a five so we have something like that now when we um have a, when we want a shadow to change from this and become something more like blurred out so how do we do that when you when you have a, on the shadow you can see that you have this for like different break point and you also have this for like when you have it so with that when i click on that i can change the color to the red that we want and i'm going to make sure that this is um this is that full red and i'm going to make this 100 and i'm going to make sure that this is a zero all throughout so when you have it can you see that it shifts a little and it turns it into that but we also want the um we also want this background to turn it also into red to do that we're going to go back into our custom and then over here you see when you hover you get this then that looks like a hand so just click on that and then you can change that to that color too just make sure that this is also a full red so now when we come in and we hover on it you can see we do have this bright red with also a red um shadow and then you also have your icon moving to the left so this is how you create this kind of button first one i've shown you how to create a circular button and i also shown you how to like add a little bit of um a little bit of animation not too much and also if you do not want your button to have a text this is also how to do that so you've learned a few things by doing this name is nyako um if you haven't subscribed to the channel you can subscribe if you do like the video you can give it a thumbs up thank you for watching